Welcome to the headquarters. I'm Hannah and if you're new here, which I'm assuming you are because uh, this is probably like what my seventh video or so. Um, well anyways, I want to welcome you and today we're going to talk about the seven reasons why you need to convert to a silk pillowcase. So I converted to sleeping on silk pillowcases um, in January of 2019. 2019 was really my year to focus on my hair health. This hair has been through bleach, it's been through weird colors. I've done red, I've done blue, I've done crazy stuff to my hair throughout the years, especially in my high school, college days. So with that being said, my hair was just brittle and dry and almost gummy texture. When my hair was blonde, I could like stretch my hair. It was not good. So 2019 came the year I was like, okay, hair health is going to be my New Year's resolution. And that's where my love of silk pillowcases came in. <laughs> so not only did I do the silk pillowcases, I did the full silk sheet set. Game changer, okay? Rolling in to bed in a silk burrito, nothing feels better. So. Tip number one um, is, first of all, silk is hypoallergenic. So no matter how clean you keep your house, there's still going to be um, traces of dust and allergens. So silk just helps to keep your home dust and allergen free. While keeping your sleep surface clear of allergens, um, you're preventing, you know, skin irritants such as uh, like breakouts and bacteria and stuff that gets into your skin. So gross. Sorry, this is my um, fizz drink. I realize it looks like gasoline. It's sour apple flavor. <laughs> okay, tip number two is less breakout. So because of reason number one, this one kind of speaks for itself. Adding silk to your nightly routine is very literally the last step in your skincare routine. Let me elaborate. Did you know that your cotton pillowcases absorb some of your facial products at night? Not only does that mean that you're wasting product, you're wasting your money, and not to mention you're probably a normal human being and don't have time to wash your pillowcase every night. I don't know why I keep doing this with my hands. <laughs> and you know, you can't wash your pillowcase every single night, right? So nights on nights on nights of sleeping with facial products on your face, getting onto your pillow, and then you sleep or you lay down with a clean face on that pillow I'm just gonna let you envision that <laughs> so tip number three is skin absorption skincare absorption so unlike reason number two when a cotton pillowcase absorbs all of your facial products a silk pillowcase actually helps you absorb your facial products um, silk and satin are less absorbent than cotton traditional pillowcases so your face creams will be much more beneficial with a silk pillowcase tip number four I guess this looks like eight tip number four is um, it extends the life of your hairstyle so if you do blowouts or if you um, have curly hair and you straighten it or vice versa you have straight hair and you curl it sleeping on silk kind of helps to tame your hair helps keep the hairstyle alive um, it eliminates bedhead and frizziness, therefore extending the life of your hair. <laughs> Another slight malfunction. I don't know what's going on with this. Anyways, I also just plugged in my microphone because I realized that wasn't plugged in before. So, um, where were we? Tip number four. Um, oh yeah, extends the life of your uh, hairstyle. So, if you didn't see my last video, um, it had the review of the Revlon One Step Dupe. And I have been doing my hair with it and it's life-changing so yes my hair is currently blowed out but it's also like a couple days dirty but you guys like I I barely even have to like brush my hair in the morning like I wake up and it's silky and it's smooth it's pretty much tangle free um, I know I can't speak for everyone with that that is my specific hair type in my experience but um, yes extending the life of your hairstyle is worth it on its own okay so tip number five 
Um, tip number five is preventing split ends because remember when I told you how I switched to silk back in January of 2019 and it's what, uh, April of 2020. So in 2019, I was like, okay, I'm getting my hair trimmed every three months. Um, it was like every 12 weeks I was getting my hair cut. Um, to specifically grow out my hair. My hair was probably around like mid shoulder length um, by that time last year. So every time I was going in, um, my hairdresser, you know, she would take off like an inch, nothing more than like an inch or two because one, I wouldn't let her. So, but I wanted to get off at the dead end so I could grow my hair out. And it got to the point where like each time I was going and she's like, Hannah, there's really not much that I need to take off. And I was shocked. I was like, what? No way. I was like, well, that's good. Don't cut it if you don't need to. But you know, I wanted to keep it fresh. I wanted to um, grow out my hair. It was really stagnant for a long time. Like I, in January, or maybe it was like December of 2018, I had like looked at a picture that came up on my time hop and I was like, oh my gosh, my hair hasn't grown at all. Like I haven't even cut it. What the heck? Like it's just, it, it like stopped growing. And I was like, okay, there's gotta be something to this. Anyways, so getting it healthy and um, really doing hair health had helped a lot with letting it grow. That can be all said in another video if you guys want to see my hair care routine for growing it long and healthy let me know in the comments and I'll maybe make a video on it. Anyways, with silk pillowcases, um, it has less friction. So like when you're sleeping, there's not as much static and friction between your hair and the pillow, like a, a, like a traditional cotton pillowcase. Um, so, you know, healthy hair starts at the root and your head is the one that touches the pillow. So you're, you're creating less friction between your hair and um, the pillow. Therefore, you know, you're not you're not damaging your hair and you're not causing um, static and heat and friction that causes breakouts. So tip number six is that it keeps you cool. Um, silk is naturally breathable and it is a natural cooling fabric. If you're like me, I like to sleep as cold as a cucumber. I hate waking up hot. It's so uncomfortable for me because it's so it's so much more difficult for me to fall back asleep when I wake up hot. So by switching over to silk, I was able to just kind of like flip over the pillow and it's so cool and it stays cool. It's so refreshing in the summer, but sleeping on silk, oh my gosh, the full sheet set, you guys, I'm telling you, it's like something I crave during the day. It's just like crawl into this big silk burrito and pull asleep. And that leads me to reason number seven is that silk just feels so luxurious. Like you can't deny that the sound of silk sounds amazing. You can't deny that the feeling of silk is amazing. It just is. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel and make it into something I think that will be really valuable to you. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Switch to silk. Love you. Bye.